Hey guys, Mortimer here. Welcome to an MK11 video where we're going to be doing the Frost character tutorial. I've been really struggling on Frost. I even lose to the bots affair. I do get with the majority of people I play with, but I cannot figure it out. So I was like, I might as well try the Frost tutorial. And I'm noticing is I think after you complete the tutorials, you get some skin. So I'm definitely going to be doing Luke Kang's character tutorial too. Let's get right into it. I wonder if it's just like, it's just showing you how to use the moves. Is a core distance is the one where she freaking throws her head as an ice bar or something, or is that are we thinking it's something different? Frost has a variety of mid and long range attacks at her that let her control space and keep out her opponent. Equip different abilities can significantly change her options in combat. Core discharge is a high projectile that can be aimed to to hit different parts of that of that arena. Oh my gosh. The close variation works as a quick anti air attack while the further versions can lock down mobile opponents that are at a distance. Um. Play spin is a multi-hit attack with a long active frame that hit wide area. This attack is safe on block and causes a lot of damage, but it can easily be punished by a ducking opponent. Amplified play spin to have Frost advance as she extends the attack, increasing um, this is damage on block. This high attack is difficult to punish on block, but a ducking opponent can easily punish it with an uppercut for a crushing blow. Oh my gosh. Cryo sense fires two high projectiles at the opponent. This attack has a fast setup but long recovery, making it easy for the uh, punish on Mr. Block if Frost is close to the opponent. Amplified Cryo stands to fire an additional charge. A additional barrage of mid projectiles can not be evaded by ducking. This attack is safe on block and difficult for an opponent to evade the projectiles by jumping. Cyberhead is an anti air attack with a good range. This high attack is safe on block, but it can be easily evaded by a ducking opponent. Um, did it the wrong way. I did it down forward X. Blade Lunge is a high attack with a slower startup but fantastic range and long active frames. This attack could be good for punishing a missed attack at mid range at long range at Lola and a safe on block. Oh my gosh. Outcode starts with a slower mid attack with good range and ends with a two hit overhead attack that's safe on block. There's a big enough gap between the first and second hit that the opponent can interrupt Frost with a quick attack. Reborn starts with an advancing low attack. The second attack is a mid that's safe on block. The third attack is overhead that is unsafe on block, but will launch your opponent for a juggle combo on hit. I was ready, I started spamming Trunk in one square. Freezing point starts with a two hit high attack and ends with an overhead attack that can be difficult to punish. Leave off the last hit for a safe combo attack that can be confirmed into, an, into unsafe special moves. Ice Elated starts with a slower high attack, but the last hit is a mid attack with a block advantage that can lead to a frame trap. Frost can special cancel this combo attack into Cyberhead to start a juggle combo in the corner. Nice. Oh, so now that was a tired tutorial. We got the Frost foreseeable future. Awesome. Let's go check out the skin real quick. And eat some toast. That's pretty awesome. I wonder what's her like rare ones. What the hell? I right, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, short character tutorial for Frost. I was just trying to get a better idea of her. I'm going to be uh, playing the classic tower now and hopefully I can actually beat it this time. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm losing it. Can't someone, anyone, anyone, anyone. what the hell is going on? Right? I've been in the future for a whole hour and I haven't seen one jetpack.